What's going on everybody? We are fishing today. Um, I should have started the vlog earlier. It got real intense very quickly. You guys can see all that mud. All that mud. It's not, it doesn't look that bad, but it was pretty bad. We, keep in mind, we are towing a 20 foot fiberglass boat. And uh, we were trying to find this lake in Google Maps. You know, it's real, real key sometimes. They took us down a straight up mud road and I put it in four wheel drive and tried to gun it up a hill and got completely stuck, completely like sunk down. The, I mean, the mud was like halfway up the wheels and somehow put the old, put the old girl in four wheel drive and backed her on up and got her out. I don't know idea how. We definitely should have gotten stuck, uh, but thank God we didn't. We are here. We left the river you guys the last video you guys saw was probably the river of a smallmouth fishing we left that at 5 a.m and it is now 7 16 a.m we're at a lake i've never been to ben's never been to it looks great it's actually a fairly small one it was on our way home and uh so yes yeah, so we drove a couple hours went through some mud but minor details folks minor details you can't can't get too discouraged you just got to keep on keep on trucking along folks um anyways we are gonna i don't know what we're gonna fish it looks like some standing timber um, I'll probably throw a frog, probably a chatterbait, probably a jig or some type of flipping bait, and maybe like a busbait or something. Anyways, I'm excited. I'm going to quit talking. I got to help Ben get all the boat situma faded. We are going to catch some fish. Technical difficulties here. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, yesterday our trolling motor crapped out on us. Um, if you guys saw the ending of that smallmouth video, you guys probably already knew that. And last night we tinkered with it and kind of got it working, and then it broke again. So Ben's working on fixing it right now. He's taking, taking the whole thing apart. I guess one of the connectors is completely burnt, like to a crisp. So we're basically just cutting it all off, rewiring the wiring. Yeah, let me see this thing. Just burnt to a flipping crisp folks re we rewiring it hopefully uh hopefully it works here a few moments later all right that should be good moment cross of your fingers moment of truth yes oh. yes 30 minutes later folks we did it well ben didn't i just kind of watched i supervised though that's the important yeah, part supervise moral support we're back folks that was like a 30 minute 30 minute um, now de detour, I guess maybe you could call it delay. Delay, that's the word, that's the right word. Anyways, he had a giant, yeah, he had a giant fish right after that went out. So we're gonna go back to fishing. Sun is out, but we are still frog fishing. Coming up. I know where it's not low work condition. I might, want, I might want to catch that fish. There That's a good is. one, too. There we go, baby. There we go. Woo! We got him. Four hours deep, folks. Smoked it, dude. On the old swim jog. Yeah, dude. It's becoming my new chatterbait, folks. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna start using these, I'm telling you. There you go, right there. Beautiful little largemouth. Whoop! See ya, Gary. Wait, I can't call him Gary. Gavin, I'll call him Gavin. Gary, Gary's our pet bass. Yeah, that's gonna, can't, uh, can't do that. Sorry, folks, take that back. That's Gavin. Okay. Well, right, could not get anything, ball. couldn't get anything on the top water, so we switched to the old swim jig. We're fishing more main lake. We are back in the creek arm of this lake and no dice whatsoever. Zero dice. Zero dice, there was zero die involved. So, came to the main lake. Ben smoked one on a beaver and a swim jig, so I picked up the swim jig as well. Just caught another fish, so this is good, folks. This is good. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. That's a good one, too. Yep. Back. That's a good one. Stay Get pinned. Back. Stay pinned. Good one. Good Stay one. pinned, baby. Get it. Woo! Get baby, it. yeah! Ho oh, ho ho, son! 
Smoke Dome. That's what we came here for. Finally. Oh, on the beef. Got the dirty beef. On the beef, dude. Hell yeah, folks. God, that feels so good. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Pounder, yeah, it does. It's got it's got the head of a four pounder, but it's not all that heavy of a fish. That is a nice, nice fish, folks. That is why we came here. This is this is awesome. Finally, 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 finally. Woo! Here we go. See you later, Freddy. Whoop. Hell yeah. For those of you guys wondering what a beaver is, it's just a soft plastic like this. Not a whole lot of action to it, just kind of a do nothing bait, throw it out there and drag it on the bottom. Just nice and slow. There's We're kind of fishing post front conditions. So it's bluebird skies, high pressure. Basically the conditions you don't want to go fishing in, but you know, we gotta, we gotta grind folks. So that's what we're doing. We're just kind of dragging along here, fishing the uh, fish a little deeper water. Found a few swim jig and chatterbait fish. I guess I had one on chatterbait came off. Now we are trying to do a little bit more flipping and pitching here. See if we can catch a few more fish before we call it a day. If you guys want any of the products I'm using in today's video, I will link them all down below. Flares, frog and rod, all the all the baits and line and everything, all will be linked down below as always. Woo! Dang, son. Catch that fish real quick. Get him. Woo! Oh, he oh. came off. Oh. Well, folks. We were having some boat maneuverability difficulties. That's not a word, but you get the point. To Narnia by the time you set the yeah, yeah, and so we we're trying to figure out how to get away from these. We were stuck between logs, essentially. Yeah, the hook didn't even come out. I didn't even get exposed on that one. And uh, <laughs> my beaver was just <laughs> laying on the bottom, and I picked up the slack and about had the rod ripped out of my hand. So there we go, folks. We are being very productive today, catching lots of fish. Oh, get him! Oh, finally. Hey guys, up P don't want to lose my PB real quick. Yes, sir. Woo. Yes, sir. Could not go fishing without catching the old fly fish. Could not resist. There you go, buddy. That's all right. I'll take it, guys. Post front conditions, freaking brutal as it gets. Take what you, uh, take what you can get here. There's one. Oh, God. There we go. Another one. Woo! Oh, Jesus. Psycho. All right, flare rod, calm down. You need to be too swole now. Jeez and rice, folks. Look at that. Flipping frog and swole rod. Swole rod, dude. Should have changed the name. Flipping frog and swole rod. There we go, baby, on the old beef. Look at that. Another, another fleet fish. See Leroy? Out of that tree, folks. There we go. So folks, you guys know, I love giving y'all tips. This is just the tip. I just stole that from Milliken. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Just the tip here. I want to give you guys a few tips. We've been talking about this post frontal stuff and this may be something you guys haven't heard of. It just kind of depends on how experienced you are, you know, fishing. But what basically what a post front is in a nutshell is if the day before you were fishing was a storm, like a rainstorm, whatever, cloudy, any type of, you know, weather conditions type thing, and then the next day when you're fishing, it looks like this, not a cloud in the sky. It's usually a little bit cooler. Usually a cold front kind of comes with it. Um, bluebird skies and a little, usually a little bit of wind cause it's kind of, it's kind of blowing. It's usually a west wind or a east wind just kind of depends on the day, but it's, it just, it basically everything gets blown out. And so what I want to talk about is how to catch fish during that time. We, we were really stupid and stubborn this morning and fished a topwater frog for like two hours. And there's a reason why we didn't catch any fish. It's because it's a post front. They just, they're not active. The barometric pressure is all jumbled up and they just, they usually are very sluggish and lethargic. So what you want to do is you want to pick up a, a bait like this. This is a beaver. It's missing, missing a pincher, but this doesn't have any kicking appendages. It just floats down. So you don't want like the rage craws or the bugs. You want something just a regular flipping beaver bait that has no kicking action. That's that's what they want. When it's when it's post front, 
They just want subtle, something that glides down, nice easy meal in front of them, nothing too hectic. Although we did catch some swim jig fish, which goes against exactly what I'm saying. Those were just, you know, those were just a couple fish. We only caught like one or two of them, which we've caught a lot more flip fish. Anyways, I don't wanna make this tip part any longer, but essentially that is how we are catching the fish today. I know a lot of you guys always want me to include as many tips as I can, so I do my best every single day. If you guys want any of the products, again, all linked down below. There's one. Got one? Yep, got one. Good one. Decent. Decent. Right. Decent. Right. We're on the board. Fish. We're on the board Off offshore. Shore. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it, folks. We switched up to tactics today and uh we found some offshore offshore stuff. Fishing a drop off. Kind of basically in the middle of this lake here. Before we before we head home, we want to give this spot a shot here, throwing the old wobble head as usual for the offshore bite. Caught myself a fish. There's one. We're swimming it out. There's one. Swimming it out of the tree, boys. We're swimming the old T rigs. We the went, went back to the old flip bite before we leave here. Wow, another squeak, squeak McGee, folks. Not quite as bad as the other squeaker. The other squeaker was a next level squeaker. Better than the four inch small mouth. Whoop. Four bounces. 20 minutes later. And we are back on the land great america land anyways i'm gonna end the video here hope you guys enjoyed we caught lots of fish uh kind of i did hopefully kind of explain somewhat to you guys what we were doing how we caught the fish these are would you consider these pretty much like the worst fishing conditions i mean i would rather fish in a rainstorm than this because you can at least catch fish in the rain i mean we caught fish we had to work for them we had it had a hard time figuring them out uh so a few things to go keep keep away from keep no keep with you and walk away from something like that a few things here don't throw i shouldn't say don't throw probably shouldn't throw top water during post front and you should flip and pitch lay downs cover fish tend to kind of tuck up to things they don't usually roam yes we did catch a couple swim jig fish but those were just those are flukes i mean we caught so many other fish doing doing the flipping thing that i think we pretty much can toss that pattern out the window and uh yeah so i was throwing the beeve the beef, the beef, the beef. There's a lot of different brands, but I'll link the ones I was using today. Just keep in mind, keep something that doesn't move a whole lot. If you're not fishing post front, I always throw stuff that moves. So that's just personally me. He throws a beaver pretty much all day, every day. So it really comes down to personal preference, but when it's post front conditions, bluebird skies, not a whole lot going on, you don't want a whole lot of action. So anyways, that's, that's all the tips I've got for you. That's just the tip brought to you by Millican Fishing and Andrew Flair. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.